In this video, we're going to discuss an application of average rate of change in business and economics. Suppose we have a company whose revenue in thousands of dollars is represented by this graph, T years since 2000. Let's find the average rate of change in revenue from 2000 to 2004, 2004 to 2007, 2007 to 2009, and 2012 to 2016. Okay, let's find the revenue from 2000 to 2004. So finding average rate of change is the same thing as finding slope of a secant line. It's a line that passes through at least two points. So in this case, since we're considering 2000 to 2004, so we have these points here. So that is year 2000 and year 2004. So we have this revenue. So we're considering these two endpoints here. And the average rate of change is only the slope of the line that passes through these two points. So we only need to use the slope formula. Let us find the coordinates of these points to determine the slope of this line. So this point here is 0, 10. And then this has coordinates uh, 4, 12. So the average rate of change in revenue is just the slope of this line. So we have here 12 minus 10 over 4 minus 0. And this is equal to 2 over 4, which is equal to 1 half. Now, what is the unit of uh, this number? So the unit is just the unit of the revenue, which is in thousands of dollars. So this is thousands of dollars over the unit of the denominator, in this case, the unit of T, which is in years. So this is per year. So this is the same thing as one half times $1,000 per year. And that is $500 per year. So the units of the average rate of change is just the units of your output over the units of your input and our output here is the revenue and our input is the time. So what does this mean? It means that on the average from 2000 to 2004, the revenue is increasing at this rate, increasing by $500 per year. So the fastest way to find this uh, average rate of change here is actually using rise over run. So if you move from this point to this point, so you have to move upward by two units and then run to the right by four units. So you rise by two units and you run to the right by four units. So that's the fastest way to find that average rate of change, which is equal to one half. Next problem. So let's find the average rate of change from 2004 to 2007. So 2004, again, the coordinates of this point are, you have here 4, 12, and then uh, 2007. So we have here 7. So this point here, the coordinates are 7, 17. So the average rate of change here, again, it's the slope of the line that passes through those two points. So you have here 17 minus 12 all over 7 minus 4. And uh, this is equal to 5 over 3. Again, 5, the unit of this numerator is in thousands of dollars. Okay, And the unit of the denominator is in year. So this is just $5,000 over 3 years. We can write this down as uh, what? This is 5,000 divided by 3. It is only equal to $1,666.67 per year. So this is the average rate of change during that uh, period. So this uh, tells us that uh, from 2004 to 2007, on the average, the revenue is increasing at a rate of 1,666.67 per year. So this uh, 5 over 3 here is just the slope of this line that passes uh, through these uh, two points, 4, 12 and 7, 17. 
we can also find this uh, average rate of change here using rise over run. So if you move uh, from this point to this point, so you have to rise by how many units? One, two, three, four, five. And then you have to run to the right by how many units? One, two, three. So therefore, the slope of the line that passes uh, through these two points is equal to five over three. Moving to part C. So let's find that uh, average rate of change from 2007 to 2009. So 2007, so here, this point here, so we have here 7, 17. And then 2009, so we have this point here with coordinates uh, 9, 17. So what is the average rate of change in revenue during this uh, period? So as you can see, we have here a horizontal line. So the revenue is not changing. So the average rate of change here is just zero dollars per year. Of course, you can also find this uh, average rate of change by using slope formula. But when we use slope formula, again, change in y, there's no change in y. So 17 minus 17 all over 9 minus 7. And this will give you 0 over 2. And that is equal to 0. If you multiply the 0 by $1,000, so 0 thousands of dollars, so that is still equal to 0. So you can just write your answer as $0 per year. It is clear that the average rate of change is zero because the line that passes through these two points here is a horizontal line. And the slope of a horizontal line is equal to zero. Okay, let us now find the average rate of change from 2012 to 2016. So 2012, so we have this point here. So this is 12, 20. And then 2016, so we have this point. So this is 16, 17. So those are the coordinates of our point. So therefore, the average rate of change is equal to 17 minus 20. Take note of the order here. Order is important when you're uh, looking for slope of a line. So we have here 16 minus 12. And this is equal to negative 3 over 4, which means the unit of this again. So this is what? This is in thousands. The numerator is in thousands. So this is negative $3,000 over 4 years, which is equal to what? Negative $750 per year. What does the negative sign mean here? So it means that on the average during this period from 2012 to 2016, on the average, the revenue is decreasing at a rate of $750 per year. So the negative sign here means that the revenue is decreasing on the average. We can also use rise over run to easily find this average rate of change. So since you're going to rise, so you have to move from this point to this point. So you have to rise by how many units? One, two, three. And you run to the left. One, two, three, four. So the slope of the line that passes through these two points will be equal to rise by three units over running to the left by four units means negative four. So when you run to the left, it should be negative, and if you run to the right, it is uh, positive. And you'll get immediately this average rate of change, which is equal to negative three-fourths.